Okay, so I'm now looking at Marketplace TF just to, to complete the hazmat uh, side effect. So basically, if you type in hazmat, it's a hazmat head case, but it comes up with other things, the hazmat, and, uh, 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 which is the uh, the hazmat, hazmat and the hatton, which is the uh, medic uh, effect, uh, and the medic hat. Um, now, a Blurting Flames is going for, t you know, sort of 2000 um, Australian dollars, um, uh, Stormy Storm for 700 Australian dollars, Blizzardy for 400 and Smoking. Um, there is a, there's an interesting here, there's a collector's has a mat and hatton on the market, which is, uh, which is quite, uh, rare and unusual. Um, there is, uh, Bubbling Nuts and Bolts, which are probably better priced than the community market, uh, especially the 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 uh, uh, the Nuts and Bolts one. Um, if you go down, uh, I, I guess the thing is strange, um, an uncraftable hazmat head case, which is interesting. Let's have a look at this. One available. There are not many of these around. They're actually uncraftable. A quality, unique. Um, so that's interesting in itself because I have not really. S I mean, I haven't seen any. I've only seen the strange ones on the community markets. I've not really seen the, um, let's just go, hazmat head case. So we only get the hazmat head case. Oh, how stupid. Hazmat head case. Um, but, okay, let's have a look and see. Well, we've got all those unusual ones we mentioned. Um, this is that, uh, this one here. Um, there's a hazmat head case. There's an uncraftable one, there's a handmaid's head case for a very small amount of money. Um, and uh, there's a number 60 hazmat head case, which is... <coughs> um, I, I mean, I, I certainly haven't seen money of these on the, uh, on the Steam community market, and, and, and they're interesting. So I'm, I'm very intrigued by where these come from, and I might look into them, and I may even try and see if I can get some of them. So I'll come back. Let's go and have a look at these uh, um, these head ca hazmat head cases that I've acquired. Um, what we're looking at here is, you know, whether they're all different or equal. Um, it's basically got the. Uh, this is a streamlined one. A streamlined. Okay, that's a streamlined uh, style. So I, I've just literally gone to the to marketplace and I bought all of the hazmat head cases. It cost me twenty nine bucks. So I'm going to just look how much is how much is of each. These are the non strange ones. All of the all of the uh, all of the unusual ones and all of the uh, strange ones I could find are all safety first. This is a streamlined one. This is uh, streamlined safety first, okay, which seems to be the most common. Safety first reinforced type. Uh, safety first, safety first, safety first, streamlined. Uh, streamlined, streamlined, streamlined. Style, a serious absence of fear. So that's a, a different one. Safety first. Streamlined, safety first, streamlined, reinforced, reinforced, um, safety first, safety first, streamlined, um, streamlined, reinforced, reinforced. So there, there are, there are, there is this still this variety. So I guess I'll go to the sniper loadout and um, um, <laughs> that's him. But I just want to try and get. Um, one of the sniper loadouts I can temporarily take everything off on. Um, oh God. So, 
probably this is the easiest one to remember. Well, <laughs> I don't know any of them are easy to remember. So this one here is the Cloud9 and the Dark Blaze, and and uh, so I'm going to try and take these off and just have nothing, nothing, nothing. So this is we're now just going to just go for the cosmic. The this is a safety first. Um, that's a safety first. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can see the difference. This is a streamlined one. The streamlined one does not have the side panel. Okay. This is the reinforced type. Now the reinforced type has this extra strong bit here compared to the safety first which has got the whole just a black the whole blackness with the other one's got the metal plate with the the small slit in it so we've looked at those the next one so we've said reinforced reinforced safety first safe, um, streamlined absence of fear which is uncommon now i guess the absence of fear it's got the small slit. I guess the difference between it and the reinforced. Let's go back to the reinforced. And the reinforced. Uh, serious absence of fear. Reinforced. Is the same hat with this side patch. So, I mean, basically, I don't know. I mean, basically, the reinforced one has got this metal plate here. but And the side thing. The uh, safety first has just got the the visor and the side thing. The streamline is like the safety first without the side thing, and. The series of our absence of fear has got the metal plate without the side thing on. So they're the they're the subtypes and they're available. So if we go, if I just go to um, in in my inventory has Matt, and in my inventory these are the ones that I've got here. Okay. Um, and safety first seems to be the universal one. You know, they all seem to come in this style for strangers and also for unusuals. Um, so that's very interesting. Okay, we're still going further on with this uh, review of the hazmat because it's got it's quite a fascinating item. I mean, um, the the uh, there are a few of them available. Um, I've cleaned out some just to see the distribution of the different types available. On, on average, if you if you buy about uh, 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 around about 30 of them, you're going to find that o about half of them are going to be the safety first, and then the the then then the streamlines the next most common. Um, with you're going to find you know sort of find about five of them are going to be streamlined and uh, probably the least common is a serious absence of fear so I guess uh, actually probably two-thirds of them were actually the safety first so that's a, that is the most common variety now this is just uh, uh, overall numbers um, about you know not, the actual plain ones are not uncommon so that you should be able to get them um, just under 50,000 um, and uh, on average they sell for as I say uh, they're quite cheap they're for about uh, 1.2 to 1.5 ref um, here you go uh, this is a um, a a level 26 uh, item um, it's got here the, the this one does not show the style at all um, this one here does show the style streamlined 
and Streamlined is one that doesn't have the visor on. This is a serious absence of fear. This is the Kylo Ren hat. So you can get a Kylo Ren hat and paint it up. Um, still reasonably uh, cheap. Here's another serious of absence of fear on, on backpack. Um, and here's a, another Streamlined. So um, you can certainly still get these uh, um, uh, hats. Um, there's uh, uh, basically all sales are two to three ref. There was one recently to uh, all, all the proof. Um, they've increased the, the, the price to 1.5, but um, I think that way it comes and goes and you can always shop around and get a better one. Um, the... I mean, the overall feeling is that they're worth about 1.5 ref, okay? And um, this seems to be a consistent uh, sort of theme through through what's been said. Now, in terms of the the uh, the uh, the market, in terms of these are sell orders, there are only this many sort of sell orders on 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 back, our backpack. Um, the uh, the the distribution of levels is from uh, all the way from uh, wh there's, there's, there are 531s all the way up to level 10620. So there's no particularly. It's sort of across the board as to the levels. I've, I, I haven't really seen many of these single digit figures around. Um, and these are the the, the colour distribution. Uh, yeah, there's a fair few in Australian gold for some reason. Um, uh, lack of you um, and uh, you know sort of. Uh, tailing off down this way. Uh, of course, the majority of them remain unpainted. Um, there's, so there's 47,000 of them out of six million, six hundred, six million six hundred thousand inventory. So it's a lot of inventories. So um, the there are different um, qualities to this. Um, obviously, the burning flames one. Uh, it's currently valued at uh, nine to uh, twenty keys. Um, and uh, uh, this is in terms of how many have have, have sold, um, and uh, basically, um, oh, this Wayne, Wayne has an order, um, has a sell order for a, a buying backpacks for nine hundred and twenty keys, so um, that's sort of equivalent to about eighteen hundred US dollars. So that's, um, I mean, that's just interesting that these are. Uh, these items are still uh, for sale. Um, Blizzardy Storm. Um, there's a, a 300 keys that's for sale at the moment. Um, it's, I think that could be themed, and especially if you want to paint it up um, uh, in a uh, in a, uh, a, a, a flaming colour. Um, just having a look and see if there's anything else interesting around. Um, this purple energy one is also an interesting item. Um, that's one of the most expensive keys. Um, there's only a couple of them round um, for for 1,050 uh, keys. Um, I don't know. I mean, whether that's uh, necessarily worth it. It's not like a. I mean, I think burning flames. I probably be what would like um, like more. Um, the other ever popular effect is sunbeams. Um, and, and predictably, Sunbeams has got a uh, a, a correspondingly um, uh, expensive um, uh, um, price tag, uh, and that's again Wayne is selling that off 2,500 keys. So that that is the status of affairs on backpack, and uh, we I'm just going to go and see if I can sort of look into a bit further about the genesis of this item now. I think there's a saying that says credit is where credit's due. Now, in this case here, this is the the ha the uh, the wiki um, uh, page which I've already alluded to. Now, these contributions here um, uh, are people who have contributed to wiki page. I want to, in particular, look at this guy here, Sparkwire, who, I mean, has done a lot for the the TF2 community introduce into terms of introducing new items and in particular has one of the most impressive backpacks um, for um, uh, f 
uh, for the uh, so-called self-made items. Uh, and in particular, he has this uh, community sparkle uh, in pink as hell, um, uh, and it's a level 50 self-made hazmat uh, hat. Um, he's also got oodles of other, I mean, probably the most self-made items you'll ever see in a backpack because he is a, a prolific contributor to the... Um, to the uh to the cause so um i guess this is uh this is a chap that uh has been really very much active in terms of um uh contributing to the community and um this is uh i mean a couple of his uh, his workshop items and, and and the box trots in their particular so um basically uh I think it's very important to you know give credit where it's due. So if we go back to the the um, the previous um, the the previous uh, items, um, so we go back to the hazmat head case. I'll just have a look at this now. The hazmat head case. Um, and see w uh, w what uh, the other people on there. There's the pocket, uh, there's the Yeti pocket salesman as well, which is um, uh, here again in this inventory under the name of Hot Chicken. Um, that's not available at this time. Okay, well, fair enough. But they do have a, a an item that uh oh here it comes i mean obviously they have contri contributed to this but i think they also had an item a, a hazmat somewhere here it is here in community sparkle so um they obviously must be some way involved in the inception of things as well so there are a lot of um I mean, and also on the wiki page there are there are i think there's three of them three of the guys on that wiki page have these uh, community sparkle um, uh, effects and one of them is a private backpack so supposedly they also have the effect um, so okay I've just uh, been steered towards some more information one of the other contributors to that uh, wiki page was Primrose uh, the gr uh, Primrose the, um, now Primrose uh, uh, has done a, a reddit uh, post about the original upload of the hazmat and um, this is a year ago. Um, so the hazmat had a clipping fix in the color chain sitting in the workshop for some three plus years now. And uh, for, okay. So basically, um, it's interesting here that he made it uh, uh, sniper compatible. So he put it in as a joke. Um, uh, to tell you the truth, I, don't, I wouldn't discount it. Uh, he made it for giggles, but it actually looks good on the sniper. And if you want to do them sort of uh, a Kylo Ren thing, it's a pity we can't get a, a bat saber switched. I mean, and maybe this is something we should fight for. Get a red coloured bat saber put across for the for the Kylo Ren and maybe uh, the light coloured bat saber for the scout. That way we can have good versus evil jewels. Um, something worth sort of thinking about. Um, uh, yes, don't, don't, this is why people tell you not to joke and with Al about obviously terrible ideas. I don't think it was a terrible idea. I think it was uh, maybe made in a joke, but it actually looks okay on the sniper, especially as an unusual. And um, I'm pretty happy with my most recent uh, uh, unusual acquisition. Um, I, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, this here, this uh, when you're at Uber charge, a big fuck you appears over the head. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you don't need the fuck you to appear. It's sort of almost, it's almost like you can subliminally see um, fuck you when a, an Uber comes towards you because you can't do jack shit about them necessarily. Um, so um, yeah, I, I think it's, um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's really good that he sort of put this up and he's talked about its uh, inception and uh, I, I think it's re I, I'm very thankful for it. I would also like to know, um, you know, w w what the other guy's involvements were and the history between the updates and, and, and I guess, um, uh, you know, more, more or less, uh, if, has anyone any knowledge about, uh, obviously, the, the primary person is going to get a self-made 
um, hazmat with the community sparkles and whether or not the other ones are involved in the development do they get it too uh, I'm just uh, wondering why that is and uh, um, anyway it's quite um, it's quite uh, interesting that uh, uh, that uh, so that the TF2 community of, uh, is is actively involved uh, uh, involved in, in in determining its own destiny, unlike so many other games, and that's probably why TF2 has stayed around too long. And we really owe it to these guys like uh, Primrose and Sparkwire and all those other guys that uh, do community work because. They are the essence of what's keeps it keeping the community going. It's also very important that you've got people playing the game, you've got people talking about the game, making videos on the game, um, even trading. Um, it's really important that you've got the sites that give you information, like I've been, the wiki site is fantastic. The backpack, uh, backpack for, uh, TF2 backpack for statistics. Um, but even looking at the community market for sales trends and also um, a marketplace uh, warehouse, all those places are, are really providing an invaluable resource uh, to people like me that go in and look at uh, various effects. Uh, and I thank every one of these guys um, and all these, uh, especially big thanks to the guys that have developed these uh, pieces.